Okay, here we are. Brotherhood of Nod selected. It's now time for the second part in the classic game series where I play the original Command and Conquer. On the first part I finished uh, first three missions with a GDI and yep in this second part it's now time for the Brotherhood of Nod. Just like with the GDR, the first missions are pretty much the same kind of you get a bunch of units and you need to kill everyone. On the next mission you get the actual base, but only can build up to a barracks. And yep, once again need to kill everyone. There are not much difference between the missions. Uh, and as I have played a bit further, uh, and on Red Alert, oh, I have played the whole game actually. Yeah, I can tell you that it doesn't actually change that much. It's pretty much always to kill everyone or turn Terry's um, defend the building for a certain amount of time and then maybe kill someone uh, or just kill someone but with a twist that uh, you need to protect some Tanya or What's the other person's name? Well, I can't remember now, but yeah, there are these certain things you need. But yeah, mostly just kill everyone. Which is actually uh, understandable. This is an old game, so yeah, you can't actually require any more from it, uh, as this was uh, the very first on this genre. So yeah, this is was the first thing they actually made up. So yeah, if this would be released now, or if some game would be released now, which would be more like this game, yeah, then it wouldn't succeed at all, simply because it's outdated. But yeah, simply because this is the old and very original game, yeah, it's totally understandable and enjoyable. I really hope you actually liked the first part where I played as a GDI simply because this part is going to be exact the same, maybe a bit worse simply because I'm not sure <laughs> did I find enough things to talk about during this gameplay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk about uh, Nod in a second here. Just need to scout this map first a bit, simply because I have no absolutely idea where I need to head in. And yeah, I have bad habit, or I don't know, it's bad habit, but I really want to search every bit of the area. Yeah, like there, there is a small black dot left behind, and yeah, I really would like to scout it out, but yeah, I don't think I can actually get any unit there to scout it. And yeah, I send the soldier down corner just to reveal those more black dots. I really don't want to leave any mm, ground area. Church. Yes, 
sir. Unit ready, building. Unit ready, building. Affirmative. Unit ready. But yeah, let's get to the point of what is Brotherhood of Nard. The Brotherhood of Nard is a mysterious and highly militant Abrahamic society of allegedly ancient origins. Throughout its struggle with GDI, Nord is shown possessing characteristics of vast religious movement and multinational corporation and decentralized nation state while being none of the three in itself the global side the global size brotherhood is led by a mysterious man known only as Kane and its influence at the advent of the events in command and conquer three Tiberian wars reached nothing short of status of an unconventional superpower. The Brotherhood of Nard represents a flexible, elusive and worldwide chaotic army which strives on so sophisticated synergy between lungs tech, guerrilla warfare and advanced forces equipped with state-of-the-art weapon systems derived from the Brotherhood's understanding of Tiberian-based military technologies. Node tactics are highly radical and appear more unethical than GDIs, often showing a little regard for human life. In addition, their religious fascination with Tiberium has led them to use the substance as an offensive chemical. Not forces typically are weaker than GDIs or the screen in the head on engagement, yet they use stealth and advanced hit and, hit and run tactics to their advances to take control of the battle and sabotage an enemy momentum. Like in the original Command and Conquer game, which is I'm currently playing, playing here, their in-game super weapon is a nuclear missile, which replaced the cluster and chemical missiles deployed during Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. So yeah, that's the Brotherhood of Nod in a nutshell. And yeah, uh, the nuclear weapon is in Red Alert 2, the Soviet weapon. And yeah, it's kind of understandable if you consider Nod to be Soviet. Uh, just like in Red Alert, there are certain similarities between the two. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Building. But what are all the factions featured in every command and conquer game? Well, here stands for it. Uh, there are, of course, Global Defense Initiative, GDI, and then there is the Brotherhood of Nod, mainly as Nod, then there is this screen, and the Forgotten. Uh, the screen is only featured in Tiberian Wars, 
and forgotten one is featured in Tiberium Sun and Firestorm. Building. Then there is of course Allied Nations, which is in Red Alert series, and Soviet Union and Empire of the Rising Sun, which was introduced in Red Alert 3, and Yuri, which was in Red Alert 2. Then here is also People's Republic of China, a Global Liberation Army, United States of America. I, uh, that's that last one, I have never heard of it. United States of America. United States of America. Yeah, sounds really dumb. What is USA? Yes, never heard of it. Must be some really small town somewhere. And those factions are of course divided between the series, uh, like Tiberium series have its own four factions, Red Alert has its own four factions, and the General series has these latest three factions. I think it's now enough talk about uh, Nance's information, which no one actually understands. Yeah, let's attack the deepest possible. Yeah, there is now actually uh, information given once again uh, what an arrow means. So yeah, I just simply pick the one which leads furthest behind the enemy lines. Maybe because it might be the harder one. I don't know. I want to experience something. And yeah, it seems I have these... Uh, I don't know, those cycles are... Yeah, that one is cheap, and this... Yeah, I, I, I think it's motorcycles or whatever. What I have currently. But I'm not quite sure, can I actually build those? I highly doubt it, because I think this is only a barracks unit. So yeah, maybe I should try to save those and use those to attack some structures at the end, at least those motorcycles. But after all, it's quite hard to actually get in there. Well, I need to think about this. First I need to find enemy base, of course, so let's start searching the area. And yeah, what I learned from the TDI mission that I probably need to take out the refinery or... Is that... Refinery is the factor, but what is the... It's harvester, yeah, yeah. The harvester which actually gathers the Tiberium. If I take it out and the AI doesn't cheat in this game, so yeah, I should exhaust the computer and preventing from it building anything more. I know there is of course already uh, placed units, but yeah, I mean just that they couldn't rebuild the more I'm pretty sure is that possible, but yeah, we will really need to find out. Building. Yes sir. Yes sir. Unit ready. Yeah, 
and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna talk about since I really like to keep my videos like they are um, out of the date basically th I mean that I can't talk something what just happened right now because I want people to actually watch these games like a year later or something uh, whenever they just feel to want to see an old classic game, that's my, my goal here. So yeah, I can't really talk about the coming Christmas here, and so on, simply because you might watch this in summer or some other thing, or if you watch this in further away in future, and there isn't any Christmas anymore, and it's against the law, and I don't, I don't want my videos to be we blocked or something because I talk religious uh, celebration Building. days or parties or whatever but yeah let's take out the harvester here so yeah and it hopefully will it will hopefully prevent enemy from gathering in the Tiberium and yeah yeah you might notice my awesome micro there I Moved one uh, motorbike from below, so yeah, it couldn't run away. But yeah, motorbike versus uh, infantry it's somehow lost. Yeah, it's always funny with this Command and Conquer series. Uh, you can shoot with a tank to an infantry, and the infantry will always survive uh, at least the first like 100 hits or something. Of course, if you don't was or anything or well, same thing with if you have a rocket launcher uh, unit and you decide simply to uh, attack a rocket launcher unit to a basic normal rifleman you can well at the first uh, in real life you can shoot further with a rocket launcher okay maybe it's not that accurate but yeah it still is so fast and yeah it has that small explosion on impact so yeah it should really harm a lot the infantry yeah I'm just failing right now there yeah it should really hurt someone but yeah uh, in this game if you send the rocket launcher dude uh, versus one the infantry yeah it's no competition it hey, you just simply uh, rocket launcher will just lose I think even with three rocket launcher they will still lose simply because yeah, the rocket launcher isn't doing any damage. Uh, it only does damage to something like tanks and buildings. Yeah, of course that's understandable. But after all, if, if you start thinking and you have a building and you just keep shooting it with a light bazooka, yeah, it takes forever you to actually take it down. It's more, uh, it's yeah, even better if you just like use the infantry and get into inside of the building and start smashing there rather than shooting from the distance with the rocket launcher but hey this game isn't about real thing and yeah I'm pretty sure no one actually understands what I tried to say there so yeah I'm go just gonna leave it there <laughs> unit ready building unit ready building Unit ready. 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 Building. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Unit lost. No problem. My mission got 
quite hard right now simply because I have lost so many units there while I destroyed the harvest rent and then got uh, surrounded by those reinforcements and all my vehicles got killed and yeah just a moment ago I just lost two of my men so one grenadier but yeah I think they have not rebuilt the harvest and yeah it would need the factory actually to rebuild the f harvester and yeah I just realized that actually in this mission uh, my objective is to capture the uh, is it a tech lab or something what somewhere in the enemy space so yeah basically I don't need to kill everyone uh, but yeah since it's obviously somewhere in her base and almost certainly it's covered with turrets and uh, behind every enemy structure yeah I pretty much have to kill everyone before I get into that building and yeah engineers have actually absolutely no weapons so yeah it's really hard and yeah it seems there are still coming a few infantry units from the barracks even though they are not receiving any Tiberium okay now it seems they are not producing anymore it would be fun to see actually the silo is the, if they really has any Tiberium left no 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 once again there was a unit spawned from the barracks so yeah they are building something yeah yeah, I think the computer is, or AI is cheating, which is always bad, but yeah, maybe they want to uh, keep the game as difficult as, yeah, okay, they have four silos, of course, but after all, after all they have so many units, how they, can, how they can still have the silos full, even though they had, don't have the harvester anymore, but yeah, uh, what a uh, computer or AI cheats in this game? Yeah, it must be to um, keep this game as challenging as possible. And yeah, not making it too easy. Simply because too easy game might just ruin the experience. Uh, okay, I think, yeah, I just failed. Uh, you might wonder why I left that one unit. Uh, to the site where the barracks was destroyed that's simply because yeah when I played this when I was young there was a bad habit that when you actually destroyed something no matter how far away yeah I'm trying to search my objective now but yeah and no matter how far away from your base the building was uh, the real limit for player is one block away is the furthest what you can build, build. So it means there can be one box between the buildings that's max. But yeah, uh, computer can just throw the building no matter how far away from this main building to the other side of the map. If he just wants or it it wants. So yeah, uh, when you place a unit, so a place where the building has been yeah of course you can't build over a unit and yeah the AI doesn't know how to remove the unit from it he, he doesn't understand he could be, or it, it could just send a unit and kill that people there so yeah I'm just preventing it from building the barracks again so yeah you don't really need to worry anything else about the anything else other than the turret and yeah as you can see I made a small surrounding here so yeah I should be just fine here oh yes yes I think I get it yes and okay there you can see the building actually which I think I need to capture yeah I was given a three 
engineers at the beginning say, yeah, I might as well use the but Yeah, I think the mission will end the ride after I now capture that final building. Yes, mission accomplished. So yeah, that's the end of this two-part uh, episode on classic game Command and Conquer. I really hope you liked it and I try to keep these uh, classic games in one part. But yeah, goodbye.